Get out of here, Stalker. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode in the Stalker Anomaly Beginner's Guide slash tutorial series. It's a brand new day here in Rostock. Good morning, Stalkers, as we hear the sweet sounds of gunfire in the distance and the radio from the 100 Rad's Bar right behind us. We have done a nice amount of housekeeping. Um, I spent about an hour and a half right now just doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, trying to, you know, sell things, get some money. So, I have repaired everything already. Um, there's a few things that I wanted to show you before we head out. So, if you go this way, and I'll show you on the map, right here. This is where the main trader is in Rostock. This guy will sell you weapons, ammo, armor. This guy right here. Colonel Petrenko. And as you can see, he has a decent amount of uh, guns and armor and good stuff to sell. Um, but we already did that. I sold him, um, I sold him a few things. We're, we're gonna... Mm, uh, I th I'm, I'm probably gonna keep uh, the ammo. I'm gonna keep the ammo. So what we're gonna do is we, we bought a um, We bought a backpack off of him and I'm gonna show you why we did that. He's like wait six you already have a backpack Well, you're gonna see what we're gonna do with that backpack, but I did want to sell The silencer though because we cannot use those or that silencers for an uh, AK 74 u um, I'm still gonna keep these just in- I'm, I'm gonna sell that. That thing is horrible. But, I'm gonna keep this just in case. Um, in case we need, you know, close quarter combat and we need to take that big scope out. Um, okay. So, as you can see, I'm kind of broke right now. Uh, we had a lot more money in the last episode, but I am kind of broke. Well, we're not broke, but, um, uh, you get the idea. And over here is the is the doctor, the med, the oh. med guy, where you can buy a whole bunch of uh, meds from him. So that's what we did. We went and got ourselves some med kits, some regular med kits. I got a couple more, um, uh, how do you call it, morphine shots. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the technician and you'll see what that backpack was used for. And I'm gonna try and move again as quick as I can because I want to get I want to get to Yantar at least in this episode but I feel like I need to explain all this to you. Um, for all you uh, new players who don't know exactly what I'm about to do. So as I mentioned in the last episode uh, this is where you sleep in uh, in Rostock so if you look at the map here, maybe I should have explained this earlier. If you look at the map, you're going to see different icons, right? And Rostock is the best example because before when I was going over the map in the Rookie Village, there was only like two people there. <laughs> two people of interest. Here, there's a shit ton of people of interest. So if you zoom in, <clears throat> if you hover over these icons, you're going to see that it tells you what it is. So you got technician. And every time you have like a... um. Uh, like it's like a circle with a flag or something or it's like a money bag or whatever that is. It's an important character Right Traders normally have like that business suitcase, right? So that's the trader and then this here is the medic obviously um, So Anyway That's how you spot if, if you're lost in like a base or something like that and you're like, okay Where's the trader? Where's the mechanic? Where's the blah blah blah? You just look at the map and the icons will tell you that is if you're in that place. If you're not in that place, if you're not in that map, they won't tell you, I think. So, what are we doing here? Well, last episode I mentioned creating a stash to keep all the weapon parts and ammo that we don't want, but we might, you know, we might use in the future. So, in order to create a stash, you need an extra backpack. Alright, so that's why we bought a backpack from uh, the trader over there. So what you could do is right click on the backpack and go to create stash. So, I don't know. It's right mm, shit stash. <laughs> there you go. And there's your stash. So, that's it. You just store everything that you don't want to take with you at that moment in that stash. So that's what we're doing now, and it's a tedious process. 
Uh, yep, we're gonna... So if you hold down shift, I think, yeah, if you hold down shift and double click, it, um, it'll take the whole block over. I told you that before. Stupid. Okay, um, keep all that crap in there. Uh, all the old ammo, we're gonna store in there too. The ammo that we're not really gonna use yet. Actually, we'll keep that just in case we come across a good rifle or something. Um, so the ammo that I tend to keep on me, these are EP rounds. The ammo I tend to keep on me is ammo that I know I might use uh, when I come across a certain weapon. Like this here, this ammo, um, this is a sniper ammo. If we come across a sniper rifle that uses this ammo, uh, we will definitely, you know, use it. <laughs> so that's why. And it doesn't weigh too much. It's just 0.22 uh, kilograms. This here is 0.16. We're definitely going to come across some NATO weapons. Um, when we face off against mercs and monolith so uh i'm keeping that oh i forgot to uh, uh of course we're gonna put the uh expert tools in there um we're gonna put that in there i mean we, we could just sell it but we're not gonna go keep going back and forth right now uh anything else that we can put in here um we're gonna keep all this on us because this is all repair stuff and we will repair on the go I also got some batteries, um, and I also got a headlamp. See? The headlamp. This is what you needed to go into, um, to go into, uh, um, Agriprom without having to use the damn flashlight. So we don't need the flashlight and Oh, shit. We don't need the flashlight anymore. We could just uh, equip our, um, our, uh, uh, detector. Because we will be coming across some anomalies here and there. So now we can use the detector to go artifact hunting. <laughs> but this detector is a piece of shit. You won't find too many artifacts with this. We need to upgrade our detector. We'll do that in a future episode. But uh, when I... Hopefully... I don't know. There's so many things I need to cover. I need to cover armor, maybe ammo, uh, weapons, artifact hunting, crafting. Ugh, so many things. But, um, but we'll... Don't worry. We'll get there. I just want to progress with the story a little bit. Um, all right, so that's how you create a stash. And you can just throw anything you want in there. Bam. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Uh, let's repair our knife. Um, our knife we can repair, uh, as usual, with the technician. Or with the uh, three-piece sharpening stone set. I prefer to... Uh, not use this on the knife because the knife is usually really cheap to repair let's see yeah a thousand rubles i mean i'd rather use that on the multi-tool which is going to be you know because we're going to be disassembling weapons bye. like crazy bye all right uh one more thing let's do one more thing before we head out we're going to go back to um the barkeep actually you know what not the barkeep. I think the faction leader here will buy these documents. So you remember we came across some military documents, right? Came across a war notebook. Um, well, Strelok's notebook. This is going to be with us until we find Strelok. Spoilers. Um, but uh, these military documents. So whenever you find documents of some sort, uh, faction leaders or traders are always interested in information. Same thing with uh, PDAs. We haven't found a PDA yet off an enemy. I believe we haven't. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> but um, traders will pay for information. So this guy right here, this dude is the duty faction leader, General Veronin. Um, so here you go. See, I found some old documents. Are you interested? So certain people will pay more for certain information than others. Um, especially if it's enemy information. So, let's see. Um, so he will pay 10,600 uh, rubles just for those documents. The barkeep will pay less. I think the barkeep pays, I think, like eight or, eight or 9,000. It's not that much of a difference, but this guy pays more. So, of course. Uh, exactly. So, deal. Bam. And aside from money, you receive improved aluminum frames and first aid kit. The loot, I think, is random. But, uh, but yeah. So, aside from money, we got something that we can use. This here, uh, it gives us uh, more weight, uh, more carry rate, which is good. And it gives us more psychic resistance. Although, we are, if we ever come across an electrical anomaly, 
we're gonna get fucked because this is uh, minus electrical resistance. This is uh, well, this doesn't really impact electrical resistance, but this is definitely minus electrical resistance because this is just a big hunk of metal that you're carrying on your back. However, we got you know around three kilograms more uh, than last time, so now I think we're all set to go out. Oh, one one other thing. Somebody mentioned in the comments, and yes, I forgot to read these. So, whenever you pick these up, it's very important that you read these, okay? These are crafting recipes. So, oh, you've read this before, fine. But once you read these, they get saved on the, um, on the workbench. I believe that is correct. Uh, I tend to just carry them with me, but just for the sake of it... Let's leave those in our stash. Now that we have created a stash, we will leave those in the stash. There is a stash um, in the 100 rads bar, but I'd rather have the stash near the technician because that's where we're keeping all our, you know, parts and everything. And just so we don't have to keep going back and forth from the bar to the technician. So before we leave all those um, manuals, we're going to read them. Okay, we read this one before. I'll go over crafting in a future episode, but again, this is what you can craft, and this is what you, the, the ingredients that you need, and the item that you need to craft it. So for this, you need basic toolkits, uh, a basic toolkit. So if you already have a vice, if you already gave a basic toolkit to somebody, like for example, the dude in uh, the cordon, we can craft, uh, we can craft anything here as long as we have the recipes. So. Same thing with this. This is a drug uh, recipe. So you need a drug making kit. Uh, if you have a drug making kit or give it to a doctor that I believe um, is asking for one, you can craft meds so you don't have to keep spending money on it. Um, oh, I love this music. So here you have engineering manual. We do have an expert toolkit. So uh, <laughs> th this guy, we didn't give it to this guy yet, but we do have one here. So, if we wanted to, uh, I believe, if we wanted to, we can craft an awesome Vela's detector if we get these components and this awesome, uh, this is the best headlamp night vision in the game. The Oracle Size st Stimulator. This is the best one in the game. So, we're going to be striving for that as well. But for that, you need the previous headlamp and all that good stuff. Anyway, I digress. Let's, uh... Put all this stuff back. Uh, is this even a shock itself? Okay. Let's uh, let's go. Let's, see. let's make sure we have enough ammo for everything. We have 35. Okay. We repaired the pistol as well. Uh, all right. Bye bye. Cool. Bye bye. All right. So we're going through the wild territory now. We got to get to Yantar. So let's quick save here. Oh, this music is like the calm before the storm. Alright, so in order to get to Yantar, Rostock can be, can be a little weird to navigate at first because it's just like this big ass city. <laughs> well, it's not as big, but it's just like a thing full of mazes. So, um, the entrance of the wild territory is over here. I don't know why it says to Rostock. Okay, it's probably the other way around. But yeah, this is the entrance to the wild territory. So over here, there is a duty checkpoint. And normally around... Oh, there you can see a uh, uh, dead dog here. Uh, let's... Yeah, there's usually a shit ton of mutants around there. This dude's probably... Yeah, he's looted already. Yep. And that guy's just gonna loot every single one of those things. Let's see if we can steal his loot. Yeah, so there's usually a, a pack of dogs or cats or whatever in this area over here. So you also have to be really careful. Ooh. Nah, he looted all these already. Yeah, he looted all these. So if you go straight there, that's army warehouses. Alright, let's um let's change our ammo first of all, because this is old ammo that we don't want. 
so satisfying. And this is wild territory. So this is, I don't know what this says, but it's, I can pretty much guess it says, um, warning, get the fuck out. <laughs> All right. So as we load into wild territory, as I said in the previous episode, this is definitely a wild territory. There's a nice amount of mutants in here, a good variety of mutants and tough ones too at that. There could be lurkers, there could be burers, there could be a controller, there could be, yeah. So, oh, the music all of a sudden tells you what's about to happen, right? So there are a couple of stashes around here. Um, here's one right here next to the entrance. Wow, okay, another expert toolkit, wow. See you guys. The toolkits, I made it seem like toolkits are impossible to find, but mm, they can be hard, but you can get lucky. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Those are bandits. Bandits that are shooting at us. Okay, uh, let's quick save right here. Yeah, you see? Bandits, it's either duty or bandits that control that, that sort of bridge up ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's let's fire up a um shit. Wrong weapon. Uh let's fire up a uh morphine. Cause we are gonna start bleeding in a sec. Alright, let's see if we can Oh come on. Okay, that dude's dead. There's another one over there. Oh wow, this 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 uh, shaky uh, this weapon shaky mod <laughs> it really does something here. Okay, all right. So I think we're okay. I think we're safe. All right, let's reload. Okay, this is another stash right here. We found an explosive device, which can come in handy. Who's still shooting at us? Is there somebody still there? Sounds like Terminator music. Ooh, yep, there's another one. Can't see him though. It's a bad spot. Ah, uh, where do we have cover? All right, let's move over there. Okay, we're gonna try and move over to that side there because I can't see anything through the trees and the bushes so we'll probably get a better angle going through there. Quick saving, or we can just try and go through there, that one's closer. We can just go over there, then go to that tree, alright, go, 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 go. Whew, that was close, alright. There he is. Can't really see him, but at least do some damage to him. All right, come on. All right, we're not we're not going to do anything with that. I'm probably going to take that mod off because it seems like when you shoot even though the the reticle is moving, the bullet is not going to where the reticle is. So I think that mod is screwing up the uh the aiming. Okay, he's down. Good. Coup de gras. There we go. Okay. Anybody else up there? No. Th I don't think those are bandits. Those, those bandits are mercs. Don't usually see mercs up there. They're normally bandits. Okay. There's another stash over there. I just want to make sure. Okay. Tunnel is free. I don't think there's anybody. Oh, I hear dogs on the other side. All right. All right. There's a specific way to get this stash, and I think it's around here. So this is where the bolts will really come in handy. 
so let's go straight through here. Uh, can we get on top? Of, no, we can't get on top of this. Okay. Wow. Artifact. Doesn't do anything, but it's worth money. We got cigarettes and bullets. Cool. All right, time to go back. Go this way. There we go. That wasn't us. That was the bolt. Alrighty. Quick save. Alright. We're gonna check that upper level. But I just wanna make sure... Dogs over there. All right, got to be careful. You don't want to get swarmed by dogs. Yeah, these are mercs. Wow. Okay, so we got a grenade. We got ammo. Get the patch. Uh, we'll take the med kit. Obviously, we'll empty this out. Um, Glocks are. This this Glock is a pretty damn good gun. <laughs> uh. Pistol, I mean. I'll take the walkie-talkie because you can always use... Ooh. Hmm. 22%. Not that bad. But we don't want to get over... Burdened yet. <laughs> We're not going to take it. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, this is a 45. Alright, nope. Uh, we're not taking that. But we are going to... Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're going to detach the silencer because we're going to take the silencer. We're going to take the water. We're going to take the money. We're going to take the patch. We're going to take the ammo. Uh, we're going to take the stim pack. And we're going to take the improvised stim pack. We're going to take the glue because that's repair. Good repair item. We're going to drop that, that out of here. Uh, detach the grenade launcher. We're already going to be overweight now. Oh boy. Problem is that when, whenever you fight mercs, you tend to get really good weapons um, and really good gear. Well, not really good, but you, you know what I mean, compared to any other faction. Like, these dudes are really prepared. Nothing here. There was a stash before underneath this thing. Yep, here we go. There's another stash here. Artifact container and food. All right, we're gonna eat some food. And we're gonna drink some water. That'll hopefully give us a little more stamina. Okay, now we're fine. As long as we don't go over the limit, <laughs> we are fine. Okay. Uh, let's get our pistol out. Alright, we are going to quick save. Because this is just the entrance to wild territory. There's a lot more to cover here. That's a stock uh, dead body. He, I don't think you can ever loot him. What is that? Oh, that's a... <laughs> I thought that was like the head of the head of a dog or something like that. Ah! Whoa! That was not fun. Yeah. That, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Take a look where you're stepping before you step there, guys. <laughs> do not do what I do. <laughs> area seems eerily quiet. Oh god, okay. Ecologists. Whew. Hmm. Okay, it seems to, we seem to be having pretty good luck. Alright, there there are a lot of stashes in uh, in this uh, map. I don't remember where all of them are. I remember there was a stash in between one of these things. Maybe not. But yeah, oh, here we go. 
We got, oh geez, we got more good stuff. Kevlar plates, ammo, we'll take all of that, thank you. Yeah, the, these stashes are just way out there. <laughs> I don't remember where all the stashes are. Um, I do not have that good of a memory for these things. Alright, so watch out for here, alright? So here, this is where normally you would find a lurker or chimera or something around here. Mutants are all over this place over here. So straight ahead up there, the mutants are just all over that place. And over here, this is like merc territory. You are definitely going to find some mercs here. Unless you're really, 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 really lucky. So what I like to do is, I like to just go around this train. Because if you go straight down this way, whatever merc that's sniping up there, he's going to get you. So... You gotta be careful because there's some snorks around here too sometimes. So in the original game, there's like a helicopter crash here. Yep, there it is. Helicopter crash. You have to retrieve some um, something from there. There's some stashes there. There's a uh, sort of like a parking lot. Actually, you know what? We can we can try and go around. Why don't we do that? We can try and go around because if we go through here, we're definitely gonna get picked off by these guys so let's try and go around get a little edge and I'll show you guys Ooh, dude you if it wasn't for the patch I had to double check because blue is normally a merc color <laughs> but um and this area tends to have a lot of um Psy, uh, psy, um, emissions or whatever you call it. Nah, just a radio. I don't want to get too much on. Okay, so the, the ecologists pretty much own this area now, huh? Crispy train anomaly. See, I don't know what they're saying, so I don't know if they're friendly or not. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's quick save. I mean, if, if we really wanted to, we could find a merc suit, repair it, wear it, <laughs> disguise ourselves and just walk right through the merc base, but... Oh shoot, an emission is coming. An emission is coming. That's another mod I installed. The crows, the birds will let you know that an emission is coming right before it happens. Guys. Oh shoot. I think we're dead. I don't think we can get cover in here, can we? No, this is definitely not a shelter, is it? Here's another stash. Ooh, advanced tools. Thank you very much. Oh crap, we're already at almost max capacity. Um, I'm gonna place a bet and say that we are safe in here. Oh no, we're, we're not. We're not gonna be safe in here. All right. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. These dudes are are coming in here. So, we're not. Nope. Where are these guys going? Oh no, we're dead. Uh, if not, we can just run to, uh, that other place that we saw there. Really quick. Alright. Find shelter. Oh, crap. Nope, this is definitely not a shelter. Alright, I don't know what I was thinking. Ugh. Run. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I don't know if we can get in here. I know. I know we have to find shelter. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, 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 we're dead. Get a caffeine tablet or something. 
Please tell me that we can, uh... I've never been stuck in an emission in here. There we go. Okay, stay sheltered. Woo! I was... N I've never been stuck in an emission, um... in the wild territory before. But, guys, this is our first emission. So, those of you who have not seen an emission before, you will get to see one, uh, firsthand. Yeah, so pretty much, if you stay outside during an emission, uh, you are pretty much dead. I really like that mod. Oh man, that, that that gave me a sort of like eerie feeling too. Like, okay, here it comes. Here comes the first wave. Oh, I had to sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> and the birds die. There you go. I mean, he's still flapping around, but he's dead. <laughs> he's not surviving that one. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the emission, and this is the emission, you're going to see it from your point of view. I don't know how the hell we don't die. Um, you know, this is way open, but there are some areas, you, you, you just need to go into an area that's pretty much covered. You know, a decently covered area. The problem is, you know, this, 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 <laughs> this is way open, the, there's windows are there, the door is open. Just go along with it. <laughs> Kinda, it's kind of cool, to be honest. I, I enjoy emissions when I'm not right in the middle of one, you know? <laughs> so. Anyway. I think we're okay. We're gonna wait until our uh, PDA tells us that it's okay to go outside. Come on. I think we're okay now. So it's gonna get really dark. Okay, so we're okay. See, mission complete. Stay sheltered. Now we can go outside without getting irradiated or anything like that. Yeah, do not get caught in an emission, please. Just don't. <laughs> um, I was not counting on that because normally, like, they would tell you, um, your PDA would tell you, uh, look, see, ecologist, that was one hell of an emission. I love this game. This game is so immersive. Um, normally, the ecologist would tell you, uh, or somebody would tell you, or the, um, somebody would tell you in the PDA that, oh, come on, that, um, an emission will happen today at some point. And they would say, like, within the next six hours, or when the, so then that's when you know that an emission will happen that day, so, you know, so you can plan ahead. I did not see that message. So usually right after an emission, it gets all cloudy and rainy, and then it can get kind of dark. Um, but, uh, but then it goes back to normal afterwards. And I need to find that mod that changes the emission sounds, that makes it a lot more apocalyptic. Uh, that my good friend Aeolus, uh, the guy who's, um, part of the Taz mod. He's, like, doing all the sound overhauls for that mod and everything. He made a kick-ass, uh, emission sound, so I'm gonna try and get that. <laughs> I love this, like ethereal uh music happening right now right after the emission okay there's a merc Let's see if we could sneak by him no we can't go around here but there's a stash more explosive device yeah we're not going to carry anything else all right now now it's going to get a little dark but i think youtube will still see what's going on So then right after it gets dark, it's going to get bright again. Yep, there you go. The sun's coming out now again. 
And those of you who don't know th what an emission is, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like the zone uh, letting out a fart. <laughs> it's not the scientific terminology for it, but lots of gas gets built up in the zone, and then the zone just goes. There you go. Nah, read up about it, guys. It's it. The the stalker lore is very interesting. It's all in the wiki. All right, that merc is looking towards the other direction, so maybe we can sneak by them. More caffeine tablets, why not? Thank you. There's nothing here. I know that there's a stash up here. All right, let's see if we can get it. Oh man, we're at 35 minutes already. Here we go. Man, this music is amazing. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> here we go. <gasps> nice! We got a bear detector. Sweet! Okay, this detector is going bye bye. Put in the bear detector. Nice. With that, we can spot. Um, artifacts much easier but we're not going to do that in this episode there's there should be a nice amount of artifacts um since hold on let's see just by sheer luck that anomaly has one no let's get our pistol out just in case somebody attacks us nah it won't like it will light up like this detector will light up and will actually kind of point you in the direction where the anomaly is I mean, where the artifact is, so, but that's a good find. That is a good find. We just need to recharge the batteries. Okay. All right, I'm still sneaking by here. Dead Tushanko. Or Tushkano, I should say. I say Tushanko. I always mix up Tushanka from um, Escape from Tarkov, which is like that, that canned meat. Tushanka and Tushkano. <laughs> oh, damn. Bloodsucker got hit bad with this uh, thing. All right, let's see if we can. This is really risky, what I'm about to do here. But, since we're going to see the ecologists, they also pay a nice amount of money for, um, for mutant parts. Wow, it is eerily quiet. Making too much noise, there, there's some, usually there's some mercs here around the corner. I just made way too much noise. They probably know I'm here now. Maybe not. Uh, can I get across, please? Can I get across, please? Thank you. Take that. There's another stash here. Ramrod! Sweet! Oh, crap. We... we There's so much good loot! Well, the good thing is that we're near Yantar. We just have to, um, get through the Rite of Passage. <laughs> and those of you who know what I'm talking about <laughs> know exactly what that is. The Rite of Damn Passage, right here. It's this tunnel. Alright, you know what? Okay, hold on. I am not going to trust anything on this side because It wouldn't be the first time that there's like a pack of chimeras here or something. Or lurkers. Something evil. Okay. Welcome to the tunnel, guys. Just making sure there's not a stash around here that I can loot. Welcome to this dreaded tunnel. In order to get to Yantar from the wild territory, you need to go through this tunnel. 
this tunnel has burner anomalies all around them. So let's take out our thingamabob here in case that there is something in here. Usually after an emission, artifacts respawn. So, okay. So there's burner anomalies on each side. So you're going to have to go through the middle. And you're going to have to go through the middle avoiding this fireball. So... I'm going to quick save. Let's just follow me. <laughs> just stick to the middle here. Uh, there we go. Wow, I'm surprised. There's no... I'm surprised there's no... Uh, Okay. Ooh, that was close. Wow, no artifacts in the tunnel, huh? Is this thing even on? Hello? Alright. We're going through this side right here. And there we go. That's how you get through the tunnel. Do I probably need to recharge? Maybe I need to recharge it? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Sometimes, I mean, most of the time you find, um... Okay, I didn't just recharge. Did I... Nah, never mind. Whatever. Most of the time you could find, um, some artifacts in there. Anyway, this is the way to... And we're screwed up again. <laughs> this is the way to Yantar. Through that tunnel. Through the wild territory and through the tunnel. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna take in a... Uh, Alright. What's one more minute? What's one more minute? Let's just keep going. How far away is the damn thing? Oh, yeah, we're still a ways. We have to go all the way over there. Is there anything that we can drop? Yeah, this. They're probably not going to buy that. All right. And we're... Good job. You are got stuck in a patch. An anomaly patch. All right. Um, before, while we're waiting for our stamina to regain, uh, we picked up a, a PDF from an enemy, and this is going to tell us where our stash is. So it says new stash coordinates received. So you can do that. You can pick up PDAs from dead enemies and check out their stash coordinate coordinates. Not coordination. Stupid. But then you have to replace it back with your own PDA. So, anyway. Let's keep going. And don't worry, there's another stash in Yantar that we can store shit to. Alright. We are in Yantar now. And it's another short journey from this entry point to uh, the, the lab, I would say. The mobile lab that... Oh, damn, look at that fog. Alright, let's eat something. Do I have any food? Oh crap. Ran out of food. How is that possible? Oh well. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. Ooh, they're fighting. They're probably fighting mutants, which is normally the case. Here's another stash. It's empty. As you, as you guys can see, there's just stashes everywhere. Don't run up to me like that, bro. No. Don't even. Don't. You don't even know what the hell I went through, man. Right, just in case, we're just gonna keep this out. Oh man, I really need to get like a texture mod for these uh, detectors. They look horrible. <laughs> Nintsuga, I heard some fire in Yantar. Uh-oh. Ooh, I was about to walk into that. I'm pretty sure there's an artifact in the swamp area over here. There's like this like swampy marsh area. Are they fighting? Are they... Okay, here's, here's something that can happen. We are loners, okay? Ecologists are friendly with mercs. Ecologists are friendly with mercs, so don't be surprised if a merc strolls into the same area you are in, okay? 
That's why I'm kind of being we'll careful here. Okay, back. okay, okay. Yeah, I know. Jeez. Anyway, welcome to Yantar, folks. This is the this is the lab where you're gonna meet Professor Sock of Love. And no, you cannot pick up this Vela's detector. I tried many times. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the um, this is the lab, and uh, yeah, you can't pick any of this shit up. You will be safe in here uh, during an emission, obviously. This is where Professor Sock of Love is. I call him Sock of Love, but he's called Professor Sakharov. This is the infamous stash. Oh, nice. We actually got a freaking uh, artifact in here. Okay. Sweet. All right. So this guy here is going to give us the next part of our quest. But I'm going to leave that for a later video because we've already gone to 46 minutes. Jesus. Anyway, guys. This was a good episode, I think. Uh, the previous one was kind of a dud, but this one was pretty good. I think we made up for it. As you can see, a Windows, like, what is that? Windows XP BIOS? <laughs> anyway, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where we will continue the story. Um, we're going to have to do a couple of things to keep uh, time going because... Well, I'll, I'll explain it in the next episode. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please check out uh, my Twitch channel. I don't stream too much uh, on there, but I do stream like once or twice a week on there. So uh, I don't stream Stalker. I stream other stuff, but um, just feel free to check it out. And uh, feel free to join the Discord as well. The link is in, in the description. And I uh, will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you so much. Have a good day.